Hello guys, what's going on and welcome back to an episode of Conqueror's Blade. So today the Rattan Marksman, the medieval machine guns, are really kind of a un unit that I never got round for some reason to covering at the time when we had the Rattan update. Or however long ago that was now, feels like <laughs> a lifetime ago. Um, I actually started to level them, I got them to like level 12 with the intention of doing a video on them at the time and then got sidetracked by something else as I sort of have a bit of a habit of doing. And... But I, I really meant to come back to them, particularly after I did my Rattan Rangers video. Because um, these guys are kind of have a nice counter to them because they have the fire damage. And then I kind of just wanted to take a look at them. What were they like or what are they like as, as a unit? Are they actually a worthwhile unit to use? So they're really interesting because they're quite unique in any other unit in the sense that they just have obviously an extreme rate of fire. A very low damage projectiles. And they have a few other flaws as well and some positives. Let's go and have a quick look at the stats and talk through some of the good and bad points. Um, firstly, they are, are, are comically weak. Whilst they have a really nice piercing defense, which may initially allude you to thinking they're actually going to be fairly resilient, their health is so low. And remember, I've, I've actually got a plus health doctrine on these guys, plus 250 hit points, that, that really anything shoots them, they die. From enemy ranged units, an enemy bow hero, everything of these are one shot. They don't even need to headshot them to get a kill on these. They are just so weak. And this piercing defense volley, yes, it, it, it's not terrible. It's not bad. It certainly doesn't hold up to a bow hero or anything like that because the piercing damage, the piercing penetration of, a, of an enemy hero is so much higher than your defense. So it just doesn't cut it, frankly. So yeah, really weak unit. They die super fast. You do get a nice 28 men though, so you can afford to take a few casualties. They get a pretty decent quantity of ammo as well at 1540. Um, although you'll soon find that you kind of see in battle when we start to use them, they fire very, very fast, which kind of means that you'll see that the ammo does drop off relatively quickly. But we're sort of talking maybe a, maybe sort of like tertio levels, certainly not uh, Kriegs. They don't fire off their ammo that fast. Damage-wise, um, they actually get a pretty decent base damage, 1300. The the area they effectively their limiting factor is their piercing armor penetration. Of course, I've thrown a doctrine on there. Uh, that plus 75 piercing armor penetration, that is an absolutely critical one because that risk trying to get this value up from you know 875 to 950 is really gives them the potential to start to fight higher tier units because ultimately that piercing penetration is where they fall down. They do excellent against low tier units, you know, put these off against a unit of pike militia, they burn them, they poison them, they bleed them, they fire at a million miles an hour, and they just slaughter the unit with really, really quickly. But then throw this up against something that's got a bit of an armor, uh, say a, a spear sergeant, you know, you throw a shield in there and they're really doomed, or iron reapers or anything like that, and you'll find you'll only hit for like 100, 120, something like that maybe, because this armor penetration is just not enough to penetrate um, someone else's armor, and that's a massive limitation of them. And I think that's something you have to take into account when you're using them. There is, of course, only one veterancy line. Um, obviously adds just a, a handful of interesting stuff, you know, fire it and stuff as you're going along. There's two couple of interesting ones. This one, um, towards the end, gives you plus one bolt per volley. And if you watch them when we hop into a battle with them in a minute, you'll see that after they've ratcheted off, you know, five rounds or something like that, they have to stop and reload all their crossbow bolts. So having an extra one in your magazine, certainly not a bad thing. And this one is really nice, is may fire flaming bolts. Really, really handy um, because they actually, because they're firing so fast and there's quite a few of them, that may turns into, they actually fire a reasonable amount of flaming bolts, and anything that isn't fireproof will burn, and that includes Rat and Rangers, um, and it also includes a whole range of low tier stuff, Condotary, any sort of pipe militia domain spearmen, anything like that that's relatively lowly armoured, tends to burn pretty nicely. So, yeah, that that this is definitely the one of the two to have, definitely I'd be picking the flaming bolts over the poison. So, um, yeah, and it all in all, it kind of makes for a fairly interesting unit. So anyway, let's hop into some battles with them now and kind of see how we get on. Uh, they don't tend to live very long under my care. Uh, mostly, I think, because I'm a bit negligent with them and with their very low health, they do get killed kind of easily. But we'll see how we get on with them. So let's hop into battle. So on the first clip, we are on Orgolia. I'm about to see a big weakness followed by a big strength. So initially, I was on the A point, not a lot going on, so I was running back up um, to help defend against these two siege towers. And I thought, oh, maybe a bit of opportunity to shoot in on the side a little bit here. And we start to get some shots in. You'll sort of see, unfortunately, at this range, their, their damage isn't that great. Although their accuracy is actually really quite good for a low tier unit like this. I see a musket bomb come in, but it misses. Second one comes in, actually pretty much misses as well. Get a couple of kills, not a lot of damage. And then we get hit by a volley of stuff. 
and yeah, really bad damage super quickly. They they just die so fast, and that's seven Units unit models dead. Assemble. But as we pull back inside, aha, nice opportunity. Lots of sort of low and mid tier units to shoot in the back, and look how much damage we do as we start to get crits into the back of them. That's twenty models down, dead in a couple of seconds because their damage output against stuff that doesn't have such you know uh, thick armor, you know mid tier units, low tier units. The penetration is no longer an issue because it penetrates, it then hits for that full 12 1300 damage. And of course, because each model is firing six crossbow bolts and they're flaming and they cause a bit of lead damage, it just means you suddenly do a ton of damage really, really quickly. So, so yeah, we've just got 50 kills. I mean, just in a blink of an eye with sort of the crossbows of my hero, they're, they're really great in that sort of situation. So, following along from that, I was thinking, okay, where are we, where are we going to go next? And I noticed someone request, requesting help with B, so I thought, well, let's head over to B. They might, they might have got that siege tower in, they might be sort of threatening it. Um, the, the siege tower wasn't actually in it, so you see, I sort of rushed over and then I'm thinking, oh, oh there's actually not a lot here. <laughs> but then I was sort of thinking, okay, where am I going to want to go next? I see they're pushing a siege tower in here. I don't really have any easy way of dealing with it. I could have, I suppose, gone back and got an artillery. Uh, maybe set up a culverin, something like that. But you can see kind of my thinking process that I'm not quite sure what to do. And then I think, huh, what about if I put my crossbows on the edge? I wonder if I could shoot down on them. As it turns out, yes, you can. <laughs> and we're able to get some hits in on the actual guys pushing the tower. And I think that's one thing I'm kind of been surprised with these guys. is actually they really are quite an accurate crossbow unit. I know they're a fairly short range unit, although with the actual manual firing, their, their range can get pretty decent. And yeah, all in all, they seem to hit pretty well. So we're just slowly sort of picking off the guys as they're, as they're pushing away in, until we eventually kind of hit enough of them that they drop down to one men too, too few to be able to push the tower, and you see there they, they break off on their own. So now the tower's not coming into the wall, until at least until another unit comes and pushes it. But they have got the main tower in at B, so I'm sort of coming on to fight there. And you'll see, I am starting to run out of ammunition now. So you get a bit of an idea of how much shooting we've done over the course of this clip so far. Uh, so, you know, the ammunition isn't that bad, but I find it to be pretty decent, considering how many crossbow bolts they actually fire. And you can see how many flaming bolts there are per shot, quite a few, so that's kind of nice. But in this sort of situation, you see when we hit um, stuff that's a bit more armoured, then the actual damage about those Iron, iron Reapers is reduced significantly. We really are not hitting the same sort of level. But then I'm out of ammunition, so I am back off the supply point. Got to go through them on that supply point to get them resupplied. So I just cut out the little bit of footage where I'm actually going that, and then I'm just on the way back. So then I'm thinking that the some coldest area have started to push this siege tower in. And you see it's now up against the walls. So I've called my unit back from the supply point, they're on the way, and I'm trying to set them up so they can shoot down this tower. And then I go a bit too hard. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, really. I thought... Oh, you know, sod it, maybe we can get this guy. And then crossbows come up as well, and I get stuck in just with my uh, hero, but unfortunately, yeah, rapidly meet my maker. But the crossbows actually get a really good chunk of damage, and you can see the sort of hits they're getting against something like a Condotary, hitting, what, about 600 to 1,000, depending if they crit or not. But look at, they actually burn them, and when a unit burns, they, they stop and just, well, they're on fire. They st stand around trying to put themselves out. But, you know, it actually means you can get quite a few kills quite quickly, so we do quite a good job of uh, racking up quite a few kills against those Condotary because they do burn quite nicely. And all in all, they're able to get about 70 kills in that match. I think that first video does a pretty good job of showing my general opinion of them. I think they're a decent unit, but they're not amazing. I think they perform reasonably against um, enemy units that are the same tier or lower, and higher tier stuff that's either very lightly armoured or burns nicely. That's kind of why they seem to perform well against Bratton Ranges. I've not really taken them up too much into field battles because I don't really enjoy field battles very much. But you can take it from me that they do burn Rattans quite nicely. And I think that's kind of my general feelings on them. Yeah, I think they burn, they burn stuff like those Domain, domain Spearmen, Domain Pikemen quite nicely. And they seem to die pretty fast. But then when you come up um, against much more armoured opponents, then you really are be much better off with a unit like Namcans because the piercing damage is just so much higher, the damage is so much higher, and then because they've got the bleed damage as well, which is such a big stacking uh, effect on the Namcans, then they are clearly a superior ranged unit. But there's certainly worse units than this one in the game, and they are quite fun for something that's a little bit different, and if nothing else, they sound somewhat like a sewing machine, so it does make for kind of an entertaining unit to use. 
And really, that's about it. That's all I've got for you. Hopefully you kind of enjoyed this video. If you have, do let me know what you think about this unit in the comments down below. No one else had any much fun with these guys, any had any super games with them, got like 100 kill games or anything like that. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for a load more Color Blade content, and I shall see you guys all on the next video. Assemble. Form up, spread out, and attack!